Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm just kind of looking at our fleets here. Apparently we have some sort of parity with the British ships. Not so much in the quality, but in the numbers. We do have a problem though that they're, they have better ships and they have better leadership. <laughs> leadership. That's bullshit! It is tough keeping up with the British Navy. So while we're at it, why don't we... Ooh, nipples. Let's move down to Naples. Let us form the Kingdom of Nipples. I believe we have a card for that somewhere. Kingdom of Naples created. French troops must occupy the nipples. All the nipples will gain two Italian infantry. I'm guessing that's Mario, Mario and Luigi. It's -a me, murder boy. And why don't we merge these dweebs? This is Napoleon's army right here. Right now you can see that Vienna has got the double wreaths. That means they are friendly neutral, as in we can march through their territory. We can do that for six more turns, because we kicked the crap out of them relatively recently. And I think that's probably all we're going to do. Do we have any other cards? Oh, we can turn one of our light cavalry into a heavy cavalry. I guess we'll do that with this dude here. Now he's heavy cavalry. He's all trained up good. I would love to use this Denmark one, but we don't have a way yet to add Denmark to the nation, to the empire. So we can recruit troops in Italy, recruit troops in the Grand Duchy of Warsaw. The Italy one is probably going to be more likely to help us. As... If we recruited troops here, they would be screwed. Russia would just come up and attack them. Oh my word, you see that? Those are British ships coming back online from the... What was it? The storm! Eight British ships coming back online. So much for any parody we had hoped for. Why don't we move you up here? How many troops does Napoleon have? Let's see, you got four artillery... I would definitely like to give you two more. We're taking a few more than I'd like to out of this force. But I think it's more important Napoleon has those. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm trying to click on these guys so we can move them up through the Papal States. Yo, what's up, Poparino? How you doing? Now we can recruit these guys in Italy. Why don't we do that? How far north can we do that? Tyrol? Uh, Venice? Oh, those aren't even the kind of guys I want. Cancel. We'll wait until there's some artillery available, probably. Oh, I want to go out and fight these guys, but they got better units than us. And now they got all those reinforcements there. 20... We put so much work in trying to compete with them Navy-wise. Oh, where are they going to drop guys off? Alright. You dudes! Napoleon's army moved to Glacia. I don't know. It might be a bad idea to go into... Russia? We don't have a forced march card or anything, do we? No. Well, why don't we recruit the guys in Italy after all? It opened. No, wait. Yes, wait. No, wait. Yeah, I guess we'll do that right here in Venice. We'll take a cavalry, we'll take an infantry. And then we're going to create a new... Where is it? A new general emerges. He looks all evil like that. Like he's got a eye patch. Not that that would necessarily make him evil in real life. That's how it is in the movies. The reason we need a general for them is so they can march themselves. Oh, I didn't notice this. Two artillery units, six infantry, and three cavalry of the British. Landing in our territory... I think we're going to go after them. 
We're gonna try and drive them out of here. I don't know why it's showing up again. Did I load this? I didn't load this game up, so... Or maybe we usually get to see them. We're gonna set up our units like this. I don't know if you can rally militia or not. Uh, militia are these guys here. The, they have a zero combat rating. They are not good soldiers. They can't leave the homeland, but hey, it's people, right? It's something. So we're gonna use our heavy infantry here. This worked out well. Heavy artillery. To blast at their heavy artillery. Oh, all right, we already made them retreat. And the fact that they only have one leader, they might sparingly use it. Who is our leader? Uh, that Charles Pierre Francois Agarreo against James St. Clair Erskine. Everybody's got a ton of syllables in their names. We'll use our light artillery to try and blast their infantry out of here. Gave him the D. The diarrhea when he got shot and pooped himself. I might too, though, if I had a cannon shooting at me. Our militia is disorganized. Hey, I didn't notice these guys. Elite infantry. Scottish dudes. So, negative two to hit them. Negative one for the cavalry. Negative one there. We'll, we'll go after the cavalry. Well, we at least disorganized them. Come on, let's kill some guys. That's, that's the whole purpose of this war. We're just scaring them. and That's not going to help us in the long run. Oh, militia dudes bit the boat, big one. Suck an expeditionary force. That E means expedite yourself to hell. I like that too. They're worried about the center. Hopefully that means we can weaken the right flank. Oh, come on. Can we just blast that light artillery? Oh, yeah. Make them retreat. Hills to the year. I'm not going to march anybody up because we have these militia dudes and they're not good. They're lucky if they point the gun the right way. You're like, no, Charles, if somebody pulls that trigger, you're going to shoot your own head off. You're looking down the barrel. Uh oh. Ah, uh, they did rally their artillery. I'm not a fan of that. I don't blame them, though. I would have tried to do the same thing. Yeah, we made a retreat. Oh, and we killed another guy. All right. Oh, we killed another guy. If we can get rid of this horse dude here, we will have broken them. Nope, we did make him disorder, though. Oh, while we're at it, we probably ought to put an infantry here, just in case. That's interesting that they put their artillery there. Ah, uh, they're going to retreat! Do we dare pursue? No, we're not going to pursue. Because I don't... I don't want to lose any of our guys in pursuit. Oh, they got a promotion! Screw you! We lost one of our infantry, they lost two infantry and a cavalry. Get the hell off my shores! Yeah, you better go down to Gascony. I got some gas earlier. So we got a new card for that? Keep getting these damn cards where if we own the Grand Duchy of Warsaw, we can get extra troops. But we don't have control of that. If we ever get it, we're going to have a ton of troops available. Alright, it's winter time. So we can get strategic movement, we can move an army three regions, or Imperial Guard, where we can convert one of our regular infantry units into an Imperial Guard. We're going to use strategic movement. We just kick the crap out of that army. They're like, we can still get up to Paris. We're going to use political points to try and keep Prussia neutral. They have enough where Russia or Great Britain might have a better chance. But we're going to 
Spend them all trying to keep Prussia neutral. And I don't think we need to do anything else here. We don't want to move in the middle of winter into Russia because that's... Well, we know history. That never works out well. Yeah, Great Britain used two of their political points to try and get Prussia to like them more. They changed one of their allied cavalry units into a heavy cavalry unit. If we're going to make a move into Russia, this next turn is when we would have to start. As difficult as that is. Alright, so let's get another ship. Uh, let's get a heavy infantry, an elite infantry, Imperial Guard, call it what you will. A heavy cavalry. And then an infantry. Three new Britons. I got all quiet because I'm just trying to think a moment. I can't think and talk at the same time. I can barely think. All these Russians. They've had all this time to build up back here because of Prussia and Austria being neutral so long. Do we dare take a big risk and move out and engage them? I want to attack them. I don't mean like, oh, let's get married and engaged. What do you have here, Russia? Three artillery units? Alright, do we have horse artillery? We do. I'm going to put a bunch of artillery there. A bunch of artillery here. At least they don't have any horse artillery. Once again, you can tell it's horse artillery because they have a little dot there. I want to put some cavalry over here so we have combined arms just in case they decide to move up on us. In fact, we're going to put cavalry over here just in case. It wouldn't be combined arms but so we can try and square guys if need be. Oh man, right away they got a good shot with their artillery. And we didn't do so well with ours. Come on. That's how you inspire the people. See, it worked. You say, come on. That's their heavy artillery. That's what theirs look like. This must be regular light. That's when you don't want to get heavy, you know? You're like, oh, I'm getting a little fat. We're going to have some light artillery for a while. Their artillery is doing pretty decent. Hey, we killed one of theirs, though. Hell yeah, that's the most important. Are you going to send all your guys into the meat grinder, Russia, or are you going to stay back there? Alright, you can stay back there. I got no problem. An artillery duel is better for us, because we've got to get our troops, you know, deep into Russia. Balls deep into Russia. Sweet! Our horse artillery settled down. Oh, man, they killed our cavalry. That's not good. Yeah, we retreated the artillery. I like that. Oh, and we killed some of their cavalry. All the better. If it's an artillery duel, we have them right where we want them at this point. You see a giant meat shield for me? <laughs> Who is their leader? Their top leader is Mikhail Kuzkov's bow. We played him before. There's Frederick Wilhelm von Boxhauden. Holy shit, that's a mouthful. That's what all the ladies say. Whoa, dude. Be appropriate. I'm too young to hear that. Uh, wait, fight next round? Are they going to rally that dude? No.
This is where it sucks to be infantry. It's like, you gotta stand there while we just have the artillery engage each other. <laughs> We're like, can I go hide in the reserves with everybody else? Yay, we made another guy retreat. What are your odds here? They're not gonna be great. Oh, plus one, that's not so bad. You did not succeed, though. I wonder if the Russians are going to retreat if if they get a chance to. Because they're not pushing forward. Not that I blame them. We've got enough of an army where it would be pretty hard to come up and fuck with us. This, these guys are disorganized, but they refuse to break. They piss me off. They're all like, they're not in... It's probably because they're all like hiding in holes and stuff. I'm not gonna stand up in formation. I'm gonna get hit then. Uh, don't shoot my snipers there. Or skirmish unit. We're gonna pull them back because I like those guys. Put some regular infantry up there that don't have skirmishers attached. Hey, killed another unit. Hell yeah. I feel bad for these Russian troops, because right now it's like, just go up there and get shot. Except for these dickheads here. They're invincible. <laughs> How many cannon shots have we tried to lob into them and they just, we can't get rid of them. Oh, I thought for sure they were going to retreat there. I don't mind. Let's blast all of these bastards! Blast them back to Moscow! Oh, sweet! We killed one of their elite heavy dudes! Now finally break these dudes! They're all disorganized! Are you kidding? Oh, finally! I didn't think they were ever gonna break! They had the best morale! for disorganized guys. <laughs> I assume they took very good cover. Either they're hiding behind some cows or something. Confusion of the enemy. The enemy leader, Tsar Alexander, has been killed! We hope that his successor will be even less able. Oh, I didn't realize that was the Tsar there. That was the guy we didn't look at. Yeah, I would think when the Tsar dies, that's the time to leave. Uh, we are not going to pursue, because we do not have a lot of cavalry, and they are super precious. We lost one cavalry, we destroyed two infantry, a cavalry, an artillery, and a leader. We blew up the Tsar. We blew him up real good. You may convert one of your regular infantry units into a guard, an imperial guard. We will use that right away. Let's use that on this regular infantry dude. I wanted to move these guys into Warsaw, but if I do that, they're going to attack them. All right, what do we got going on here? Oh, I forgot about the British bastards trying to get up in my schnit. You're going down, Highlander. There can only be one. Oh, they retreated. Never mind. <laughs> so I'm talking trash to them. I'm tempted to use our strategic move thing to try and go get them. I guess we don't. What do we do with you, dudes? I don't want to move you there. You could get attacked. Move north. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Moving properly into Russia. Uh, recruit minor nation troops in occupied 
province of a major nation. We only have one area that's like that. One area. It's in Austria. We're going to go with Imperial Guard. We can make another guy Imperial Guard, another regular infantry. Look at that. The Brits trying again to get the Prussians to join the war. Oh, and they've got an army of 25 guys, too. Shoot. Foraging. When played, a check is made for each French and French Empire unit in a region that contains more than 15 units. There is a 1 in 10 chance that it will be eliminated unless it is in Spain or Russia. Then there's a 1 in 6 chance. Oh. So the Allies played a card where basically we're going to lose units because it's kind of like Scorched Earth. We lost 7 units there. Oh, and then they played another attrition one. Oh, and we're not even here in winter. That is a problem and a half to say the least. How much longer till Austria... Oh, they're not going to be friends anymore. We're not going to be able to march through their territory. We're going to have to pull back. This sucks balls. Because if we don't pull back, our army is going to get cut off. Because we can no longer walk through Austria after this turn. Man, we lost so many troops in that. Poop. Well, while we're at it, let's attack these dipshits. Come on, you're going down, Great Britain. Kind of like Great Mitten. Who doesn't like mittens? I like gloves better, but whatever. I don't know what I'm rambling on about. Let's put some guys on the flanks and the like. I think that'll probably do her. Now let's try and get rid of their heavy artillery there with ours. Yeah, we disorganized them at the very least. We'll try and break their right flank. I doubt they're going to come up and meet us. And there's no reason for us to go up and meet them, I don't think. Nice to meet you. I'm going to shoot you with my cannon now. He's like, oh, poop. Let's break that unit. Break them all. Hey, not bad. They're going to have to move somebody in the center. And they're not going to be able to retreat because I think there's still a whole other turn before they can get away with that. Oh, and they rallied, so obviously they're not going to try and retreat. Oh, come on, artillery dudes. It'd be great if you could break him. No, you could scare him, maybe? Oh, awesome! So we'll use our light artillery over here in a moment. Hopefully they didn't kill our guys. Sweet, they didn't try and damage their heavy artillery. Their artillery is better than ours on that side. What's up now, Brit? It's James saying it irks skin. It irks me when you come into my country and try and take my stuff from me. That's my stuff. I worked hard taking it from other people. Oh, well, there goes some militia dudes. That's all right. <laughs> We'll just put a new militia guy there. We might move people up in the center next turn. I doubt it, but it's worth considering.
Oh, we won't need to because the British are retreating. Fuck it, we're gonna pursue. Oh, they got one hit, we didn't get any, so they got one of our cavalry. I shouldn't have pursued, they got our good cavalry too. Screw them in their buttholes. We lost more people in that battle. Uh, recruit minor nation troops in the, the occupied territory of uh, someone. Uh, that means we could recruit them there in Tyrol. In fact, we're going to do that. You may recruit allied units in the regions of Marriott, Ariel, or Tyrol if French troops occupy the territory. Oh, wait, we have to actually be in them. Do you have a leader there? I thought we just had to control them. That's all right. There's a couple extra dudes. We'll take what we can get, especially after all the guys we lost in Russia. Just stepping into Russia. That's why Russia is so brutal. We use Imperial Guard. We'll use that Napoleon's guy. We'll make a regular infantry unit into an elite Imperial Guard unit. And that's going to be everything for this turn. We lost more dudes because of attrition, two attrition cards used while we were in Russia, than we've lost in, like, any single battle. Oh, I'm so tempted to go after them here. That could go so bad, though. I'm going to think about it. Next episode, we'll figure it out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.